Okay, I'll admit it. Hanging with B was fun. More fun than it was ever allowed to be. So, Greg, you're up next. You, um, you've got to beat B of all things. Like, the king of grump. The king and queen of grump. And you've got some crimes planned. Now we're not hanging out with B. We've already done that. Let's do some criming instead. Why are we howling all of a sudden? I guess that's what you do when you crime. That's exactly what it's called, crimes. The first hangout with Greg. So, uh, what kind of crimes are we going to be doing? Because we did plenty of those with B, like shoplifting, vandalism, becoming God. What are you guys talking about? I, I kind of blacked out for a moment. Oh, yeah, right. This dismal setting. And I remember in my, uh, my school district, we, we painted windows. I actually won a window one year. And I made the mistake of bringing my mom along, and she sucked all the fun out of it. She is not a good person. Did you have fun? That sounds weird. It was horrifying. Never ever do that again, Food Donkey. That's why you're out of business now. Yeah, probably donated it to charity. Oh no, those donkey turkeys. You can't trust them. Give them a mile, they'll take all the food. I'm going with that. Donkeys. Yeah, that sounds better. So, uh, what are we doing in an abandoned grocery store? I don't think there's any crimes you could do in an abandoned grocery store. Unless we're going to be breaking windows or something. But then, would anyone even care? Do you now? Well, at least May does. She's the mayor, after all. That's not how you open doors, Greg. Do we have to go over this again? You can't yell at a door. Oh, there's someone inside he's trying to get the attention of. You could stop noodling now. He's like a wacky, waving, inflatable, arm-flailing tube fox. He could advertise for the food donkey. His accomplice, probably. His, um... I don't know about crime. The, the, the guy, the informant. That's the smell of abandoned, May. That's exactly the smell that the Fort Lucent's gonna have if it doesn't straighten up. Oh, hi. How are you doing today? Your walk disturbs me. So, I take it you know this person. Also, Steve Scriggan sounds like a very fake name. That has to be like a nom de plume. You know those criminals. We're here for the crimes. Please show us where the crimes are. I don't see any. Yes, everyone does remember her. Some of them call her Killer. We gotta know what this is about. You just gave a person claustrophobia. That is not funny. I suddenly do not like this guy. It didn't take very long. I'm with May on this one. That's exactly my response to the situation. Let's just let's get on with it. So, welcome to the abandoned food donkey. It's it's no Fort Lucen because uh, it actually died. Well, Sans would be very proud of this conversation that's going on right now. They're talking about apostrophe dogs. That's great! Why are they suddenly talking about hot dogs?
Wait, what? What are we talking about? The, the grocery store is talking to people? It's something in the grocery store. What is it, like a, a fortune teller machine or something like that? Why is there a lot of glue in here is the, the, the prime question. Why do we need all this glue? Also, I hate Steve Scriggins' walk. I want to punch him in the face. This is a very punchable person. I thought you... Weren't you the only one here? I guess Beth is in on this too, but she's uh, suddenly weirded out by the talking whatever it is. Ah, yeah, vagrants around here, too. I forgot about those guys. So, the vagrants lock the door to keep them from criming. Whatever this crime may be. That would be an actual crime. That's true! This is abandoned! No one cares about this stuff. Is it really stealing? They even left the doors unlocked! They're just asking for this. We're Batmaning this all over again. You have lockpick stuff? Greg's role confirmed as thief. So Greg's gonna go get his lockpicking tools and we're gonna go look for a key. You have a great time trying to beat that door down with your lame foot. Ah, I can hear that all the way out here. I hate abandoned things. They're all echoey and noisy. It's a good thing they kept the speakers in here playing the the jaunty thieving music. Ah, I think we need to get up there. What are you up to, Greg? That's not lockpicking. What are you doing? I thought you were gonna go get your lockpicking stuff. I mean, you're just outside of town. Ah, he is smarter. Darn. We're missing out. We're getting keys like a rational person. That's a very good question! What were they doing? That kind of makes sense in a way. They were gluing the employees to the walls when they were insolent. That's what I think is going on here. She's gonna slice herself to death on the glass. Don't worry about it. Dumb ways to die. Okay, let's go find a dumb way to die. I think the office is up in this direction because there's platforms here. Here we go. Hey, key gets! They're just leaving a key. They abandoned the keys even. This isn't crimes. This is stupidity. We're punishing them. Why did we have to have a transfer for the keys? I am the gatekeeper! We shall summon Gozer upon you. Are you a god? Burned you, May. Anything else up here of interest? No, just office. At least they moved the furniture out. That's a good thing. Don't want people stealing the furniture, do they? No, leave the doors unlocked. Are you guys having fun yet? We have the keys. Oh, for goodness sakes, Greg, get over here. I'm waiting for Steve Scriggins' leg to break. I want it to happen. I pray it happens. <laughs> Take that. The office? Up there? With the obviously broken window and the very easily jumpable platforms. Now, actually it went out there because Gordon Ramsay came by and he was like, Oh, look at all this frozen food! You don't freeze frozen food, you leave it fresh! When'd you lose your passion for being a grocery store? I just gave up on trying to do a Garden Ramsey voice because I can't do it, but I'm going to reference him anyway. Shut up, Steve. Shut up already. I just don't like this guy. He's replaced B as my hate magnet. Are these even crimes? These seem like salvaging attempts. 
Why did it have to be Steve? I'd rather Beth! She sounded crazy! What in? What is an in? Oh, so you committed the crimes! So you committed the crimes that we're no longer committing, and now it's Five Nights at Freddy's! Great! Let me guess, these are gonna come to life and try to attack us and jump scare us or something. So, the food donkey used to have animatronic things. Well, of course, they're just a head now. And those heads are pretty big. That's very good point, May, but we're not in pieces. So, giant animatronics with those kinds of eyes. Obviously, these didn't scare the children. I mean, no way! Is this even stealing? It's a good point! This isn't stealing! This is salvaging! They didn't want this stuff. Obviously! Look at it! Okay, whatever makes you feel better, Greg. Cool. Huh? Here's another scream coming on! It's, it's winding up. It's like a minigun. He's gonna get going. There we go! Ah! Let it out! Just let it out! Stop screaming already! It's weird! Oh, he can't decide, so that's how his brain functions. It just screams. What are you gonna do with the other two, anyway? You gonna sell them on eBay? Okay, let's let May pick. Why the heck not? It's not like he's a main character or anything. So let's take a look at, uh, Frago here. Ew. Shut up, Steve. Shut up. I don't like you. Yeah, that's the response that you should have to something like that. And, uh, also they're putting chemicals in the water to make the frogs gay! Sorry, a little bit of Alex Jones jumped out of the deep corners of my brain. Alex Jones moment. No, actually, she's right. It's science. He's a pig. This looks like he wants to murder people. Oh, that's disturbing. It's like, a. Uh... Jeez, it's like a chicken advertising for KFC. That's just wrong. This, thank you. Thank you. Please do that for all of us. For all our sakes. Man, Cannibal Pig is sounding pretty good right now. But uh, we've got to check out what the backstory is on the rabbit. Hey, how about this? How about we just punch you in the face? May finally exploded. And I'm glad that she did for once. That's not a classic one. Let me give you a classic one. Steve! For the love that all that's holy, I will shove my foot so far up your ass that whoever pulls it out is going to be crowned king! Man, that felt better. Are we done yelling at each other already? It was cathartic, I know. Thank you. Back to rabbit. So, why did they make them so monstrous? Shut up, Steve! I think I'm going to act on that thread. I like the squint May's doing. This is exactly what I'm doing, except I have to look at the screen. I'm mentally doing it. I'm going to have to cure him. Do we have a baseball bat? I need a baseball bat to cure Steve! So, we heard the backstories on each of them. You need to pick all three of these heads for, like, an achievement or something. But, I... 
I think we're gonna go with a, a head that I picked before. Oh, do you got suits to the prom? May got a suit. Yep, yeah, that's backwards living for you. I think someone did that to our prom too. He really wanted to be a farmer. Yep, we picked. It's time to pick a head. And I'm going with Cannibal Pig. We gotta go with Cannibal Pig. We're not getting the frog. We're not getting the rabbit head. We're getting Pig Head. I mean, Cannibal Pig is just too good. If you want to get the other heads, well, you've got to get the game. There's a lot of things you're going to have to get the game for if you want to see them, because it's not possible for me to do everything. Especially not in one playthrough. Not without severe save scumming. Oh, come on now! Completely useless, am I right? I hope he doesn't lock the door on us, because that would be a major jerk move. Yeah, I mean, that's like a, a form of music, ain't it? Look, the only crimes that were done here today were actually done by Steve before we got here. We're in the clear. What was the deal, anyway? Okay, now that's an actual crime. We didn't do any crimes. We did more crimes with B than we did with Greg, the crime master. Eh, maybe. I mean, we gotta get a little bit of crime in. Why is, does everything smell like glue in that place? I still smell the glue. I think it's stuck to my clothing now. I'm probably doing some renovating. No, it's not going to be great. It's going to be heavy labor. And I'm just going to watch you because I don't have arms. Hey, get that off my back. No. Rude. You guys carry it. You guys wanted it. You carry it. Okay, let's try and not kill Greg. This is minigame time now. We're not going to kill Greg. Hopefully. So we just follow his prompts. Come on, we're almost there. You're almost there. Why are you stopping for? You need to get your grip? No, we're not go- Where are you going? Greg! Just get it up the stairs. Ah, there we go. Good. One time I was doing this and, um, Greg kept on going back down the stairs for no good reason. That could happen. It's on a random number generator. You stand on your feet, you mean. He wasn't really sitting. So his legs are really tired right now. Well, that's what you get for standing there for like five minutes holding a box. Can we just get this over with already? Thank you! I wonder what happens if you don't follow the prompt. That happens! <laughs> I'm sorry, but the way Greg fell was hilarious to me. Okay, let's not do that again. Follow the prompts right, or Greg will get murdered by a box. That's the name of this game. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Get on with it! Oh, this is a big flight of stairs. Couldn't we just take in the elevator? Are we going over to weight limit with this thing? How heavy is this box, anyway? I mean, how much more parts could they have in there besides that head? Also, what is he going to be doing with an entire head? A cannibal pig head. What is he planning to do with this thing? Is it just for funsies? Oh, I see more stairs. Greg, why? 
We could have got like a rope or something. Use the pulley system. We didn't think this through. And you have to think crimes through. Ah, oh, good. We didn't have to do that last flight of stairs. Apparently there was also a body in that box. Like a mechanical body, not a real body. That would actually be a crime. So you're just gonna leave a half-assembled animatronic pig in your house. For Angus. All oh, right, pizza! Tacos! Pizza tacos! Too bad the chocobo didn't leave bananas on the stairs and watch you both get flattened. Wow. Graphic! Okay, are we done now? This is a thing with May and Greg. Ah, uh, that's glue's gonna be everywhere. I'm gonna just smell glue when I sleep now. Thanks a lot, guys. I, I kinda miss B now. Of course, they always have pierogies. The infinite pierogi. The endless bounty of pierogi. Even pierogi burgers at the smelter burger. Wait, what are you doing? What are you planning? Hey Greg, can you just pretend to be a uh, an arcade basketball game for a second? So here's another mini game in case that one wasn't riveting enough for you. Oh, is that a spicy pierogi? We're spicing up the pierogi. So we gotta launch them into Greg's mouth. So I hope you like spicy food, because that's what you're getting in your day. This is what you get for trusting me. Kind of a simplistic minigame compared to the, the, the fish fountain. What is this, anyway? That onion, or is that ham? I'm not quite sure. Oh! Uh, sorry, Greg. <laughs> so that's what happens when you don't get it in Greg's mouth. Look, man, you, you got hands. You got a napkin, at least. Wipe that off your face. Oh, he loves onion. Onion. So it's an onion pierogi. Let's just go with the classic. Oh, okay. The classic does not fly far enough. Let's try this again. I don't know. This is, uh... This seems like a downgrade from B. I mean, at least it's shorter. I, at the last video took us like, what, 40 minutes? Okay, he likes onion, but how does he feel about pepper? Oh no, pierogi! He loves onions, let's not waste any onions here. Alright, just time it right here. Also, this sounds like, like, Game Boy Mario music. So, are, are you full of pierogi yet? Because you had quite a few pierogi. You good? Out of pierogies, even though we had like three more just sitting here. Well, that was fun. There you go. I never got 100% on that yet. Maybe you should get the game and try. So we didn't do any crimes and uh, Greg pretended to be a basketball machine. And I just gave you a lot of spicy stuff. You're going to enjoy the next BM. True bros indeed. It, it feels like we didn't do any crimes. It, it feels like we didn't do any crimes at all. This, uh, this hangout lied to me. Uh, you hesitated a little bit there. Hmm, what plan is this? Is it more crime? May definitely has plans. Most of them involve burning the town down, I think. Bright Harbor? That's way out of the county. 
I mean, I don't even think, think that's in the same state. When are you moving to Bright Harbor? I'm gonna kind of miss Greg and Angus. Ah, you just got here and you just got to hang out with him and now he's telling you, hey, I'm leaving. Why Bright Arbor, though? Yeah, isn't it, like, crazy expensive to live there? It's on the ocean. So you're intentionally going to the slums of Bright Arbor. You think that's an upgrade from Possum Springs. Look, they aren't in the slum area, though. Look, I know very little about city life, but I have a feeling that, um, after you live there for a while, you're going to find out it sucks as much as everywhere else. I think you're getting allured by the draw of the city. Please don't tell us where it is. I don't want to know. It's a sheep. Beep, beep, it's a sheep. I said beep, beep, it's a sheep. Why a sheep? No, that's not the answer to the question at hand here. Also, how can we see the tattoo? You are covered with fur. He just dyed your fur. That's gonna wash off. I'm a little bit disappointed about this. Mate, you're a little disappointed, too. Don't lie to him. Oh, really? What are you planning to move to? What m kind of money do you have to put it together? North or south, huh? Well, there's, um... There's some good things to the north. And there's Canada up there, too. Watch out, Canada. May is coming for you. Oh, that's a benefit. Yeah, you can do that. But we didn't do any crime. There's zero crime here. So you're letting someone shoplift at your business and somehow this not impedes with your progress. You're so responsible, Greg. No, I'm not being sarcastic. Yeah, we gotta get this glue. We gotta definitely unglue this place. This is the glue diner now. I don't know. I think you guys won on this one. I, I think B had the better hangout. Greg's gotta bring his A game for the next one, because I don't know. Look, just get out of here, Scriggins. Get out of her notebook right now. I know, Greg rules okay, but it's only okay. I think B's ruling a little harder than he does. This conversation again. So we can accelerate this a little bit. You've seen this before. If you haven't seen it before, well, pause. I mean, why are you skipping videos? B's hangout was better. That's all you need to know. Uh, yeah, we hit, we helped Greg move some things. Very minor text changes between the two hangouts. But at the ending, it focuses on who you hang out with more, so that's why I have two save files. I think B was your friend a little bit longer than Greg was, though. If uh, Longest Night was any evidence. We smell like glue. Don't ask questions about it. Oh yeah, the boxes. So uh, we're gonna see the the Garbo Malloy. So we don't need to see the Garbo Malloy. It's just gonna be the same jokes over again. It's like watching a rerun. So I'm just gonna skip that, and then we'll end up in May's room magically. <laughs> Got to keep those save files identical just for the ease of the situation. But at least the messages will be different on the computer. 
Also, I forgot to check out the chatterbox. It definitely is. So, B, what did you do with your day since we didn't do anything with you? Huh, that sounds like a downgrade from the mall experience. Even though that is a good show, Bleak Dominion. Okay, no spoilers, May. No spoilers. We're in no spoiler territory now. Yeah, you're not very deep in. Keep binging. Do some Netflixing and chill. Well, at least we'll have something to talk about with B later. At least in the Greg universe. And also, you fell down the stairs. Hilariously. Why do you guys have to do the internet talk? We don't need the internet talk. There's infinite texts that you could do right now. Yeah, it kept you on the earth, for one thing. Let's ask Angus. Is Angus available? Oh, right, he's, uh, over with his parents now, ain't he? Angus is having the worst time out of all of us. Oh no! It is Five Nights at Freddy's! Well, it's a good thing you're in pieces. Okay, good night, cannibal pighead. <laughs> good night, Sharkle. At least this hangout was a little shorter. Which is a good thing. Saves on my storage space and my upload speeds. So, next time on Night in the Woods, the first two hangouts are done with. We can continue on with our day. I wonder if we're going to have any more of those weird dreams. Oh well. Good night, folks.